Hey, good morning everyone. It's a bright Tuesday morning, July 6th, and I'm glad that you're joining us today. We're going to talk a little bit today about uh, godly wisdom and uh, validation that we try to get in our lives so many times. Uh, this last week I was at a meeting uh, that was in a large building and you go into the parking lot and you get the little little parking pass and you see that it's going to be like 13 bucks every hour to park and so what do you do well you go to the uh, office that you're going to and ask if they do what they validate parking uh, unfortunately in the case uh, this last week the answer was no but we're all looking for validation in life uh, and that's just kind of a silly way to point that out but we are we 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 spend time looking for people to validate who we are and what we do and that uh, can be very very problematic in our life if we're not careful we can easily become ruled by our need for validation we'll run around everywhere to find it and end up doing things that are not right I want to read for you part of James chapter 3 that really deals with that because when you're seeking for validation, you end up or essentially seeking for uh, man's wisdom a lot of times. And it says this, starting in verse 13, and we're going to go through verse 18. Who among you is wise and understanding? Let him show by his good behavior his deeds in the gentleness of wisdom. But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your heart, do not be arrogant and so lie against the truth. The, this wisdom is not that which comes down from above, but is earthly, natural, demonic. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder in every evil thing. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable and gentle, reasonable, full of mercy and good fruits, unwavering without hypocrisy. And the seed whose fruit is righteous is righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace uh, if, if we're not careful we can become ruled by our need for validation like I said in this scripture uh, James is saying that this mindset it can become um, it's it, then what we seek after is earthly and and unspiritual it even says demonic in there and chaos will reign if we are guided by that and I think sometimes we forget and are not even mindful of how we are tempted to follow earthly responses and sometimes you might practice restraint and you try to filter some of your uh, responses but we need to always be looking for wisdom that comes from above our validation comes from Christ and Christ alone he is the one who saved us he is the one that has given us a new life he is the one that we follow, not what the world says about us, but what God says about us and how much he thought of us when he gave his son. And that's what we need to do. And when we do that, it becomes a godly wisdom that's peaceable and gentle and obedient and it's full of mercy and, and it's uh, without hypocrisy, as it says there in James. And you can't attain those virtues on your own. You, you can only receive those through Christ and so my goal for us this week as a church and anyone who's is watching this is this where are you seeking for validation where are you seeking for wisdom how are you seeking it you only can you only can find it through God his word through Christ and his amazing love for us that he gave himself for us so that when we are in him when we've accepted him as Lord and Savior we are validated by him and him alone so let's remember that this week as we journey through life and let's not look at earthly wisdom and earthly validation let's look at godly wisdom and validation that comes from God through Christ alone all right everyone hope you have a great rest of your week and we will see you hopefully on Sunday at church. We'll be talking about Noah and the, the faith of Noah this, uh, this Sunday morning. So we're looking forward to that. And uh, we'll have a great week uh, walking with the Lord together in Him. Amen? Amen. All right. God bless everyone. We'll see you later.